Hi guys, just a very short video again about the um, LCD library. I will make it available so check in the description for a link to the library if you want to play with it or test it or whatever you want to do with it. And um, as you can see I get uh, in, in most cases around uh, half million pixels per second and this is I think as good as it gets at uh, 20 megahertz SPI and 40 megahertz uh, CPU and um, you can get more but only if you use DMA uh, direct memory transfer to the SPI interface and I don't want to use that but uh, yeah that's the only way you can probably almost or you can double the performance at the uh, everything being the same like uh, SPI and uh, CPU frequency and um, yeah that's it uh, uh, the text is not as fast as the uh, all the other uh, objects uh, graphic objects but uh, it's about uh, a quarter of a million 200 uh, I think 41 kilo pixel per second or something you, you've seen it in in the video and um, yeah it's it's plenty fast for for the solar BMS and what I want to do the the menu and uh, probably some graphs so uh, this is good enough and uh, here this is uh, my brand new pick and place machine I just got it uh, I think a day or two ago and uh, I just made this video uh, when I got it in the in the first day and um, yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with uh, with how it works and uh, it is uh, as I expected so uh, this will help me quite a lot with uh, uh, building the solar BMS uh, I cannot do it manually like I did for the first version of the solar BMS because that will take way too much uh, of my time it should be probably two months or something to build all the new solar BMS and I also need that time for uh, development because uh, there is a lot of work on the solar BMS so this should help quite a bit and uh, sp speed th things up uh, regarding production also it's a uh, it's not fun to place components with uh, uh, your hand it's uh, I mean this is really a job for machines they do it much better and faster okay thanks for watching and uh, see you next time Bye.